Mr. Mitru, what do you see as the major challenges in LNG and the new energy landscape? The, the major challenge we have today is the fact that the latest challenge we have is that we lost a substantial volume of pipeline gas, so we will need to replace a large portion of this with uh, LNG and shipping supply chains. So, first of all, we need to ship more LNG from the US and other parts of the world to Europe. And then, the, what is important is that we reach equilibrium and balance in the market as soon as possible. We need a supply-demand balance that will eventually drive the price lower and make the market perhaps more sustainable. But as we speak, we see that fueled by this hike in price, we see a greater growth than expected. So more LNG export terminals uh, going online soon. And practically, there may be a problem with shipping supply and the availability of ships in the years to come. This is why we see many traders rushing into securing tonnage for the forthcoming years. Now, looking ahead though, what can we actually expect for the new fuel mix? As far as fuel is concerned, uh, we currently see there is only one available alternative and this is LNG. So today the dilemma is between conventional fuel and LNG fueled ships. Tomorrow we understand and we hope and we support uh, the rollout of more alternatives and especially the, the, the cleaner fuel blends like ammonia, methanol, etc. Hydrogen eventually. So it is important that we collaborate and we expedite the development of these fuels and the rollout of these fuels. There are many challenges ahead. Only one of them is technology. The next challenge is bunkering supply chains for these fuels, and this will take time. So it is important that we start today because the, the longer we wait, the greater the challenge to decarbonize the fleet will be. The IMO though regulations are pretty strict with regards to the decarbonization. However, there is a cost uh, related to that. How do you think the geopolitical and economic conditions will affect uh, the, imp the imposition or, if you like, the application of these new regulations? So, we have seen recently there is an example with the energy sector where uh, we set a high ambition regarding the transition, but eventually we could not make it and uh, energy security prevailed as a priority. This is one of the reasons why today we see a record use of coal again. Uh, it would be wise to properly plan our steps ahead for shipping as well so that we don't have these challenges in securing practically shipping supply for the years to come. It is important that uh, but while keeping the high ambition that IMO has and imposing new regulations that will drive the industry forward that we take reasonable steps and we try to use anything that we have available so it's not only clean fuels but it's also efficiency, operations and a number of other factors that we can use to make uh, the industry less greenhouse gas intensive.